everyone. How are you? Good. And you? Good. I'm good. Um, so we're going to wait a couple more minutes. It's raining over here, so I may lose connection, but usually if I lose it, it comes right back on. Hey, Autumn. How are you? Hey, Destiny. How are you? Is that Monica Oliver? Hi, Miss Ruffy. Hey, Monica. How you doing? Good. Good. You didn't text me. I did. No. Not since. I asked you how things were going. You didn't text me again. So you owe me a text. I did text you back. Okay. All right. Well, we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> How's everything going? Good. Are you back at school yet? Yes. Yes? Yes, I live at home. So I commute from home to Boca. What, um, how that's going? Good. You have class every day? Sadly. You said sadly? Yes. Well, I remember being a commuter student. Commuter student is fun. Yeah. Now, it's going to be different when you, like, if you decide to pledge or something, but, you know, it's down the road. All right, you guys. So let's get started. As always, we'll do the copy chat and usually everyone watches on the replay. So we'll just talk to everyone that's here. Um, I wanted to talk COVID. So um, tell you a little bit about the studio safety protocols. We've kind of covered it before and like our, our um, when we did the studio tour and the open house. But also I want to talk to everyone because we're back to school see how school's going and how you feel about um, the COVID protocols and what's taking place and get some ideas from everyone what will make you feel comfortable moving forward. Uh, so I'm glad that for the people that are on the call and if any, well, that are here with us on our copy chat. And um, if anyone who watches has any questions, you can always post your question underneath the video inside the virtual studio or if you feel more comfortable messaging me privately, you can do that as well. And if it's something that I feel like the whole community needs to know, which is usually everything, we all need We're doing our best to take steps and measures to stop or prevent the spread of COVID at the studio. Um, we all are going we all have our own personal lives. So whether you're staying at home or whether you're going back to school or working at work, um, you can be exposed. But while you're in the studio, one of the big things that we're doing is our classes are a lot smaller than they once were. Um, yes, the space is smaller, but the, it's, it's mostly because we wanna um, limit the number of, of contact um, that we have. So when it comes to contact tracing and who's around, we can, we can notify parents and students right away. Um, I think everyone knows, even from the beginning, one of my biggest concerns is that I come in contact with everyone, teachers, students, parents. Ms. Peppy has a big mouth. I love to talk. Um, I love to socialize. So, <laughs> so, you know, I do not want to, I think limiting the number of people that we're around um, helps prevent the spread because I, my, I myself, I know I would feel very bad if I got sick and I made someone else sick, whether I knew it or not. That thing daily. Um, and if you've been in the studio, I, I think you can kind of tell that things are clean and wiped down. And that's, that's everything. That's from the cubbies, the doors, the doorbell, the bathrooms, um, the floors, any touch surface, it's, it's wiped down and disinfected daily. So, um, I love bleach, I love Lysol wipes, I love, it, it, it's all being done. Um, and then the kids are encouraged to wear their masks, make sure that their nose are covered. And I'm constantly reminding, reminding, reminding that we need to wear our masks and keeping that in place. Um, always reminding the kids, I think we all do that, that that's just natural habit of washing their hands after they come from the restroom or even when they come inside sometimes, um, I've had like the acro students over the summer stop in the middle of class and go wash their hands. Um, and, and that's just from sweating. We're dancing, we're sweating, whether you touch your face or your body. I don't know if you've ever washed your hands after class, 
for me, I wear makeup. So it's usually full of makeup. It's, you know, without like, you won't see it, but when I wash my hands, you actually see it. So we're, we're encouraging washing hands even more than normal. And um, it's, it's my personal preference and it was Ms. Seppi's personal preference, Mr. Trey um, and Ms. Valerie, we have all been vaccinated. Um, that is a personal choice and I will not push vaccination if you do not feel comfortable with it, but I do think it's a smart decision. We take as many precautions as we can. Um, that's that's how what I feel is best. So all the staff has been vaccinated, both shots and um, will continue to encourage it among the staff. But again, as far as families go, it's your choice. So um, outside of that, I wanna check in with you guys. Um, you're back to school, you're back to work. How's it going? Like, how do you, are you feeling safe? Do you feel like things that are going on at the schools, um, measures and protocols are in place that are that make you feel comfortable moving about talk to me a little bit go ahead autumn no <laughs> Man, <What? laughs> i need a little bit more than that and i get i, I got um, a little from destiny so i'm listening it's been all right the, it's middle uh -oh, school i think they're frozen I think they're frozen. Either they're frozen or I am frozen. So um, oh, man. let's see. Let's let's try someone else. Miss Valerie. It's you that's frozen. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Ms. Valerie, are you there? Back. Yeah. You were the one that was frozen. Uh-oh, can you hear me? But can you hear me? Oh, Miss Peppy's frozen again. Am I back? I hear you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> And like I said, it, it usually takes a second and then it jumps and gets me right back. But that was a little bit longer. Hey, Miss Valerie! Hey! I'm not going to feel it all. Okay, we want Miss Autumn to finish. I can't hear Autumn. Autumn's still frozen for me. Can you hear her? She's Here on I am. There she is. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. So there was a little rain cloud, it stopped. So I should be good now. And I apologize, you know, we've been doing this for a year and a half now. We know what happens. So Autumn, tell us why you say meh. Because middle school is very different from elementary school. It's a big transition and it's been okay. The people, the people there are terrible. <laughs> why are they terrible? They're scary. There was a fight that broke out after school Oh my God. I wasn't there though, but like my friend was telling me about it and she was like, there was a fight after you left. And I was like, mm -hmm. so you feel like it's more the kids, like you guys can't stay away from each other. Well, yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I and, can't, but. Okay. Miss Valerie, you're back to work. You're back to church. How's that going? No. You you mute you muted you muted Miss Valerie Miss Valerie you talk the right thing okay that's <laughs> what <laughs> I was trying I'm trying I'm trying <laughs> um when I go to the office it's like two or three people and we're in our own spaces okay so I'm not doing big crowds I'm not a big crowd person I, whenever I go out I wear my mask wherever I am okay. And Monica, what about you? Now you're commuting. Is that, did you decide to commute partially because of being on campus last year in COVID? Um, no, so I was going to transfer. <gasps> but I changed my mind at the last minute. FIU? No, I was going to go to Clark. Ooh. Okay. But they were being extra, so I just decided to stay. Okay. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, masks are recommended 
for FAU. So it's, I know people that's walking around without a mask and they aren't vaccinated. So it's kind of weird. Right. I wear my mask all the time. So, and it's pretty, with campus being officially open. Say that again. It's pretty fun with campus being officially open. Did you guys have like, um, what is it? Welcome day where all the like clubs and things have their. Um, Yeah, we had that Sunday where um, all the freshmen got to meet all the clubs. And then Monday and Tuesday, we had two different barbecues. But you're a sophomore now, right? Yes. And did you feel okay going to the barbecues and things? Like, like you said, some people don't have, aren't vaccinated. They don't, they don't wear their masks. College students, you guys are all over the place. How um, you- it was kind of fine. As long as like, I kept hand sanitizer on me and I kept my mask on and we were outside so we could self distance ourselves. <laughs> and Miss Audrey, how do you feel with your, with the kids going back to school? Ms. Audrey's driving. I'm going to leave her alone. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello? I'm yeah. sorry. I have to use auto. Um, but um, it's been a little anxiety because when I watch the kids come out of school, it's like they're like sardines coming out all packed on top of each other. So I don't know how much <laughs> social distancing is happening, but you know, for the most part, they have mandated the mask. And I just tell Autumn, make sure she has her mask. So for me, it's a little anxiety. But, um, you know, I tell them when she gets home, make sure you take off all those clothes, put them in the water, you know, just try to take certain precautionary measures and so that we can kind of stay safe and healthy. Now, you said something big, the anxiety of it all. Like, how are you managing with the anxiety of it all? I mean, just everything so from the full year of and it was unexpected to being stuck at home to now we're back out and about and there's a delta variant and i think i heard a a 22 variant or something like that now so yeah (laughs) so yeah the anxiety of it all well i mean for the most part i just stay prayerful and I tell our mom I it's it's just I tell it this is where we're at now and especially with work even though I work from home they're trying to mandate the vaccine and I, I haven't gotten vaccinated neither has my husband autumn isn't old enough yet and it's not to say that he approved oh, okay so Ms. Audrey will come back. She's driving, so her connection is going to be a little bit iffy in and out too. Um, I wanted to hear what she was going to say about um, vaccines being mandated at work because I know we all have our own personal preference, and I do not. Okay, there we go. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I don't know which well, part. I'm it's fine. It's going to happen. Look. I, 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 it doesn't stress me out. I know in the beginning it was like, oh, it's freeze. No, nope, this is what happened. It's called Zoom. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, go ahead. But yeah, I was just saying that they mandated it. They mandated it at work for me, okay. even though I work from home. And I think that added a little bit of anxiety, but we we're talking with HR and stuff. Cause I'm like, you know, as far as the vaccine, it's not that I'm against it, but I just had certain questions. You know, I have, just certain things so I'm not fully there right. but um you know I just try to stay prayerful and just to you know every time I drop bottom off you know I just reiterate how you know she needs to make sure she stays safe she has hand sanitizer Lysol she has everything so I just dealing with it is just making sure we're prepared and just making sure we're in spaces that um are social just dis- you know making sure we social distance and that the people that we're around have remained social distance. So I don't know. It's the anxiety is there, but for the most part, we've been just dealing with it. And I'm used to being at home, but now it's like being back out there. I think it's a need for it that we all need to get back out there. Yes. But at the same time with all of these different variants, it just, and watching CNN and the news and everything, it kind of puts that fear. You right. know, you still have that fear, <laughs> right? So I'm a, I, I, I go in between where I'm a news junkie and then where I have to stay cold turkey. And um, I think 
it was what well, March, like when the trial and everything was going on, I was like glued to the television and every day I turn on the television, I need to see how the, the COVID numbers and, you know, and I realized like that was when, um, for me, my anxiety was the highest. And I was like, you know what? You need a certain level of not knowing. Like I need to know and be educated in what's going on and what's happening, but I can't be glued to the television every five minutes watching the numbers, knowing, you know, and, and of course, when I do have my quick reads, like, okay, this is what's going on. And you see things like Florida has the most deaths, like things like that. It's like, wait a minute, you know? <laughs> um, but you, like you said, you have to stay prayerful and you take every precaution that you can. Um, and being around people that you feel are also taking those same precautions or, you know, and, and again, um, knowing that it's out there, but knowing that you're doing your best, um, I think is, is, is a big deal. Um, that being said, what are some things that make you guys feel more comfortable moving about? Or some more things that you would like to see to make you feel more comfortable with getting back to, or getting more active in your life? I, I don't like to say getting back to normal because I don't know. I feel like we should move forward. We should, we should move beyond normal at this there's point. There's no normal. Yeah, there's no normal. And I, you know, I think people, a lot of people forget that their lives were maybe a little bit chaotic or high stress. And, you know, so I, I want to think that we can move forward in a, to a, to a better normal. Maybe, maybe that's the way to say it. So what are some things that will make you guys feel more comfortable getting back active or more active in your, in your daily lives? Anyway, can answer. Probably seeing the COVID numbers go down. Yeah, yeah, that is, that does kind of. So um, around my birthday, the numbers had gone down and, you know, I was like, okay, you're being paranoid. You can, it's okay. They said it's safe for you to take your mask off. And um, that lasted a week. <laughs> and then July happened and they were like, no, put your mask on. <laughs> So seeing the numbers go down does make you feel a lot better. Yeah, I would like to see that too. I'd like to see that. Okay. Um, ha has anybody traveled or anything since, since, since we've been not at home, not quarantined? I got a big smile. Yes, yes Ms. Valerie, you have? <laughs> yes, I have. I've been to New York three times. Three? Okay. Three house flying because my my one of my younger cousins is getting married she has invited me to her dress fitting um i'm not gonna say no because it's at Kleinfeld's and i love oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right so miss valerie there's a wednesday i need you to teach in october um <laughs> well we'll talk about it. we'll talk about it but um i'm a little bit nervous about, and i love so i'm the person that loves the act of traveling I don't care where we're going. Like, I like being on a plane. I like being on a train. I like being on a, like, I like the physical act of traveling. And I'm a little, I'm very paranoid about getting on a plane right now. So how is, how is that? It's not the airline. It's not the airport staff or anything that you have to worry about. It's those other people that are just determined that they're gonna do what they're gonna do, which is anywhere. Yeah. So you continue to take your precautions and they tell you, you cannot take off your mask in the airport anywhere. Okay. You cannot take off your mask in the plane at the only time is, of course, if you're eating or drinking. Okay. I chose not to eat or drink. <laughs> Three hour flight, I think I can make it. <laughs> That's a good nap. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I should not go back to sleep. But... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Delta gives you um, the hand wipes. They pass them out as you go in, so you can wipe down. If you want to use the screen and watch a movie or whatever, you can wipe down the arms of your seat, whatever you want to wipe down. Mm -hmm. JetBlue didn't do that, but I had my own. <laughs> I mean, that's really, really, really reassuring, though. Like, that makes you like, okay, I can do it. I can do that. Yeah, and they're pretty. For the most part, everybody keeps their mask on and they pay attention to those rules. Miss mm -hmm. Audrey, what about you? You've been, you've traveled some. 
Um, yes, I agree with Miss Valerie. It's like we just made sure to take because I was very paranoid to travel. We went with Southwest okay. and I had wives, I had <laughs> everything like on me. And then I told um, Autumn, like we didn't get anything to eat. Like she said, they, they were have, handing out snacks and drinks. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. Um, but for the most part, yeah, you just have to take your own precautionary measures, but you do have some people that are not following protocol, but for the most part, we wipe down our seat. Like once we set down like the table, the seats in front of us, like the armrest, everything, I had like Lysol wipes, wiping everything down the wall, the, the window area, just everything. So for the most part, it was okay. Um, but if you can get a seat that's like right up in front or something, not saying it has to be first class, but if you, because some places, um, you, if you're the first one on, you can get a seat closer up to the front and stuff like that. My husband, if he flies, he's going first class regardless, because mm -hmm. then he has like, this, you don't have to be in like three people in a row. I think it's only two at yeah. that time and then you're spit out. So I don't know. It, it, it's still paranoid, <laughs> but if you take your measures and keep on your mask, I think we double mask, me and Autumn. <laughs> so I did too. Just, <laughs> right. So yeah, for the most part, that, funny. Like, it was okay. Do you guys feel, do you feel restricted in your mask? You say double. I'm going to be honest. I, I did feel claustrophobic at one point. I was like, thought I was going to hyperventilate because I was so... I was just, I was sitting next to someone. It was just so compact. I felt like I put Autumn on by the window because I didn't want her sitting by anybody. And I sat in the middle. So I was sitting next to someone else because my husband didn't go when we were flying there. He came on the way back. So all three of us were in a row. But going there, it was just Autumn and I. And I felt like I was going to pass out because I had on two, <laughs> two masks. I was like, oh my gosh. I just couldn't wait till it was to Atlanta. So the flight wasn't that bad. But I just had to get off the plane. And for me, it wasn't being on the plane with the two masks. It was walking to the gate <laughs> with the two masks. On. Well, were the airports crowded? And that's like hyper, because you're breathing your own carbon monoxide. So I think that's what the problem was. Yeah. They were very crowded when you guys were traveling. Monica, have you done any traveling over the summer? Nope, I've been at work. You've been, oh, work. work. Monica. I owe you a video. I'm sorry. You have to remind me of this stuff. I don't forget on purpose. And then I talk to you and everything comes back to me. So make sure I send that tonight because it's ready. I just have to send you the link. Okay. Okay. Um, so Ms. Romy's on with us. Ms. Romy, we're just kind of talking about COVID. We talked a little bit about the studio and what we're doing, but then also I, I'm I want to hear from you guys things that make you feel safe and kind of how you've been navigating through the world since we're back moving about and trying our best to get more ac active and more acclimated to the way things are. Um, yeah, um, what, now this is a subject that you may or may not want to talk about, but I, I think at this point we all have, but you may not want to talk about it. Like, have you or anyone you've known had COVID or um, yeah, and, or experienced it, or I'll talk about it. Um, you know, I've had a couple of family members who had it, and I think, again, Miss Peppy, Miss, Miss Peppy will be honest, I, I am, um, a germaphobe, a hypochondriac, I, I am, I'm the person who has WebMD on my phone, and, you know, I, I list all the, yes, so, um, when, I found out, I know that I was very, I don't know, a little bit of everything, scared, angry, scared mostly, I'll say scared, but definitely very angry and upset because there is nothing that you can do. There's no medicine you can take. There's no, there are no guarantees. There's no, this is how long it is. Yes, they say stay home for two weeks, quarantine for two weeks and you should be fine, but I think everyone I know were, were out for a lot longer than two weeks. And so um, I think that part of it is hard, like knowing that you are kind of helpless and cannot do anything. Like I can't take you a bowl of soup because you can't taste it. I can't take you medicine because there's no medicine that is, you know, um, 
I, I really can't even be around you at that point. So um, I know that's that that's that was my experience. Anyone else want to share? Yes. Oh, go ahead. Um, during the summer, I had COVID. Um, I was only out for one week though, because we got another test or two more tests, and they came back positive. Negative. I mean, negative, <laughs> negative, positively negative. Positively negative. And how did how did how did that go, Autumn? Did you have any symptoms? Did you feel anything? I only had three symptoms, I think. I couldn't smell or taste, and I had a little bit of shortness of breath. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I mean, you're one of my people that I was upset about and a little bit panicked over um, for a lot of reasons. Um, one, because you're Autumn, you're one of my favorite students. And, and then also, um, you know, that was the first time that the studio actually had to, I mean, we had to jump into action. So it was about calling parents and letting them know and making sure everyone got tested. Um, I, I got tested again, um, but just again, not knowing. And you, I know you, you were tired and I think that's the whole thing. Like we all came back and we were tired, but you just kind of chalk it to, oh, I'm back at dance. I'm a little bit tired. I, I didn't go to sleep or I'm doing dance and I'm doing camp and I'm doing whatever. And it was that kind of tired. I think we all felt, or at least we thought. And then knowing that you were sick, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, she said she was tired. I should have listened and I should have, you know, and you kind of run all those things through your head. Like what could I have done? Or, um, and, and thankfully, you know, you were fine and well, you weren't fine, but it, it passed and the, class was fine and you know um that was like one week but it, it is it is nerve-wracking to know that you guys get sick you know yeah so and and just since we're talking about that really quick for parents who don't know or if I didn't mention it so if uh, it comes back part well let me back up get it out it's really important that if you got, if the, a class at school is quarantined or if you, as soon as you find out, if you get a phone call from the school or from anywhere, or if someone in your family, somebody comes by and lets you know that you have been exposed or your child has been exposed um, at all, call the studio. You can send the studio um, phone number, a text message. You can send me a message in the virtual studio but make that you know one of the immediate calls you make, especially if you've had a class that day or within those couple of days of, of meeting so that we can all, classes will be, um, the classes that the student is in, they'll be canceled that day until we all go get tested and, and, and can come back negative. Um, and what we, we're doing is we'll have a virtual class. Now, I know we all hate, are, are well, well not hate but I know we're all ready to get back to classes as normal but we will have zoom classes as needed um it's it's part of what we may have to do um honestly like I do expect that autumn you were the first I don't have what do you call it I'm not I'm not um <laughs> I, I, I don't have it in my mind that it's not not going to happen again we do everything we can and if it happens again then We'll definitely cancel class for the day. Class will be held on Zoom. Well, in-person class will hold class on Zoom. Everyone can return once we all have our negative tests back. And that's Ms. Peppy too. Um, before class has started, I got another test. You know, I, again, I just want us all to be as precautious as we can. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? So you you guys tell me. Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me. Um, we talked about like masks and we were talking a little bit about vaccines and yeah, how, how do you guys, um, how do you really feel about the vaccination? Curious, tell me. Come I on. got them. Romy, you got it? Yeah, Yeah. I got both doses. Where did you get, Pfizer, Moderna? Moderna. Moderna, did you have any side effects? Um, no, the first time my arm was just like, felt like an elephant was sitting on it. That's just about <laughs> it. 
And then the second time, I didn't have anything. You didn't have anything? No. But so far, let me see. My mom got it. Jenny don't want to get it. Um, and she's in healthcare. Huh? She's in healthcare, but, right? And and uh, we had she she had it. Really? Yeah, it- she brought it into the house because of where she worked. Right. Um, I didn't have it. My mom had it. She oh. had it. Travis had it, Josh had it, KJ and Kennedy did not have it. Okay. So, um, yeah, we were just in the house. It was longer than two weeks. Oh, how did you guys, how did, how did, how did you guys? We wore masks. Everybody wore masks in the house. Um, Josh, let me see, Josh, KJ, and Kennedy went to their dead house. Travis stayed with us. Cause me, then we found when we went to go, we had went to go because Jenny had it. Right. Then all of us went to go get tested after, and then we found out who had it. And then we started separating as much as possible. Yeah. But then everybody in the house wore masks. My mom made tea. She called her doctor. He sent her over some stuff. And then um, my sister who lives in um, South Carolina, she sent us a whole bunch of stuff because she said where, there was a nurse that said she gave it all these different things, vitamin D, zinc, elderberry, um, Gatorade. I have, I still have the list of stuff. I'll share it. Um, of everything that she used to get her son and everybody. And it worked. It worked. And how long was Jenny out? Huh? How long she was out? Mm-hmm. You might as well say we were out for about a month. It yeah. felt like a month. Yeah, it, it was like a month because with the job you had to, it was the two weeks quarantine that you had to get tested and then you had to get another. So you had to get two negatives before they can let you go back. But it was, it was, it, it, it was a long time. But she had, she had a lot of the symptoms. So she was she was in her room by herself but they tell you to you know get a lot of sunlight when you do get it don't stay laying around try Mm -hmm. to get up you know move if you can because then you're gonna feel even worse yeah so i mean we 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 turned the ac off we had we had to so we you know we didn't we didn't we didn't leave the house cold we turned the ac off we were uncomfortable but for the most part everybody was i mean um josh and travis was asymptomatic shell had a cough my mom had a cough but contacting doctors we got medicine and stuff like that you know home remedies of different teas and stuff like that so it kind of helped the stuff we would use for our regular colds, you know, different stuff like that. They they did help, especially like because my mom and she had the phlegm on their chest. There's something that they sell at um, Whole Foods. It's called bronchial. They have it for adults and they have it for kids. The only thing is it's not as tasty as you would want it to be, but it does the job. It does the job. Share with us different things, and even um, you know, because we want to keep our immune systems up to to help. That that's another precaution that we all can take. Just making sure that we stay healthy. Yeah. Okay. Um. The last thing before we go, because our time is up here, is. Oh, I, I did tell you about classes online. So I, I do want to make sure that we know. Um, I'll post. So I won't. I'll post the the class. I'll send it to each class. Their Zoom link and passcode, just in case we do have to have closures. Those closures also are kind of in place for hurricane season because hurricane season is coming up. And you know the beautiful. Yeah. Well, we're in. Yeah, we're in hurricane season. You're right. You're in her. Like five of them passed. Um, but hurricane season is here. So, um, you know, that's, that's another thing that we have to look forward to, um, 
hurricanes and tropical storms and all the wonderful fun that we get to have now through November, December. Um, and we wanna make sure, one, I, I think, and I always say for me, I can only speak for me. And I know that some parents tell me that as well, you know, having the studio open and us still being in contact with each other, that consistent contact, I'll say, you know, it was a, it was, it was a big deal last year. Like after I teach class, I'm always on like a high, my, you know, my, my energy is up. So being able to still teach class and still see the kids and have little conversations with them, um, it made the year go a lot better. And, you know, now being in person, that helps. And seeing you guys like this, having these conversations, um, I really enjoy them as well. Um, I hope they're helpful and beneficial and, you know, yeah. So anything anyone wants to add or share before we go? Well, thank you everyone so much for joining us on this week's Copy Chat. Next week, we're talking Nutcracker. It's time to get ready. We've started rehearsals. Um, <laughs> it's showtime. We have 16 weeks, less than 16 weeks now um, before showtime. And, you know, we have to be prepared because COVID has knocked us out of the theater three times now. So, <laughs> so we, 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 we want to make sure that we're ready for it this time. Yes? Sounds good. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Monica. Oh, I get to see your face. <laughs> Wait, let me stop recording. Monica, don't hang up. <laughs>